Welcome back. In this second tutorial for the Learning Collocations Collection in Flax, we'll be looking at the cherry picking function, which enables you to store and retrieve items that you have cherry picked from the collocations database. And then we'll be looking at different options for saving and printing the collocations. Let's continue with the Learning Collocations Collection. And in this tutorial, we're going to focus on how you store and retrieve any collocations that you've searched for in this collection. So let's start with a different uh, search term. Let's start with the word social. And um, let, let's choose this word to see how it collocates in the Bohr corpus. Okay, so social class. I'm going to click to a deeper level here to get um, some examples of language and context where a social class is used. And you'll notice that immediately to the left of the search term is a cherry icon and it says pick a collocation. So essentially what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this icon and I'm going to add these examples of language using this collocation. So I can just click on that. And if you take a look up here in the top right hand corner, the same icon is flashing in my cherry basket area. So my cherry basket is the place where all of my language choices, which I'm picking from Flax, um, are going to. Okay, so um, let's continue. So I'm just going to click out of that. And take a look at this pattern between social class. Okay, so between social class, uh, let's take a look at that. Okay, and I'm going to add that as well. This time I'm going to create a category and I'm going to call this or social. And the reason being is that I want to compare collocations across the different corpora within Flax. Okay, so I'm going to add that collocation. And I'm also going to check out this one, Occurs in Social Systems, to see examples of this form. Okay, so this looks useful. Concerned with social life. Okay. Moreover, the linguistic identity has been concerned with social life strongly. Therefore, it seems to reflect images of femininity and masculinity in social context. Okay, that could be useful. So I'm going to add that to the Bohr social category. Okay, so now I'm going to go up and take a look at another corpus. I'm going to look inside Wikipedia to see how the word social is collocating in this corpus. So it's a much larger corpus and we can see the same word used as a noun as well as an adjective. Okay, so once again, oops, I'm going to add this to my cherry basket and I'm going to create a new category now called Wikipedia Social. Okay, so, and I'm just going to add that there. Okay, um, let's take a look at social services. Okay, that looks useful as well. So I'm also going to add that to the Wikipedia social category. Okay, so I feel like I've got enough examples for what I'm searching for this time around. So I'm going to go into my cherry basket and see all of the different language items in context that I've been saving. And sure enough, there's quite a few entries taken from the corpora and the collocation, social problems, social class, concerned with social life, they've all been highlighted and put in bold so it's easy for me to see. So what I can do is I can go for a quick print friendly version of this cherry basket. So if I just click here, I have a very simple um, selection. And also, um, if I go here, I can go to print from my computer. 
and it will come up as a PDF save option. Okay, so there we go. Um, so we have a lot of options in this learning collocations collection to save what we've been searching for in the cherry basket. So that wraps up the second tutorial for the learning collocations collection in Flex, covering the cherry picking options for storing, retrieving, saving and printing. And in the next section we'll be going on to look at different interactive games that you can build and play within the Flax Learning Collocations collection. This includes three games, Collocations Matching, Collocations Related Words and Collocations Dominoes. Les plus si les plus restent pas quelquefois.